Hey everyone, Pulse with Pioneer, and today we're talking about recording with the DJM 2000. Now I have another video that discusses the DJM 2000 and tractor for recording, but not everyone uses tractor, so we're going to use the free alternative Audacity. The first thing you need to do, of course, is to download Audacity, and I've provided a link in the description below. The other thing you'll need is the driver for OS X, and the driver is important because it allows you to actually configure the input and output. If you don't already have this installed, go ahead and do that, and then once you come into the the preferences you'll see down at the bottom DJM 2000 settings. If you get this alert message that's fine just click on OK. It's switching from 64 to 32 bit mode for the control panel applet. Once here you'll see you'll have three options 8 channel output no input at 16 bits, 6 and 2 at 16 bits, or 6 and no input at 24 bits. We're going to use the 6 and 2 because this is the only one that provides us with an input. Make that change click the apply now button and close the window. Then what you can do is launch Audacity, but before you do that, let's take a look at the mixer itself. Now most of the owners of the DJM 2000 are familiar that you can press and hold the sampler button and get into the utility menu. It allows you to change the MIDI, the fader start LCD, version number, uh, display, and change your quantize settings. However, if you were to hold the utility button while power, powering up your mixer, you get the club setup menu. Now the club setup menu, if you tap system, allows you to change your digital output level. It defaults to minus 19, but set it to minus 5. You can also adjust your sampling rate from 48 kilohertz to 96 kilohertz. I've got mine set to 96, and either one's fine. Then tap save, and power cycle your mixer once more. So once you've got those changes made to your mixer, let's go into Audacity. First thing you want to do is change your preferences, and set your recording device to be the DJM2000 for the input. Now it allows us to record multiple channels within the software, however the, the mixer only outputs two channels, so that's what we're going to use. Select the quality tab and make sure that the sample rate and the sample format actually match what you've got on the mixer. In our case it's 16 bit, 96 kilohertz. Now the sample rate is more important than the bit rate because the sample rate is what is going to match the digital input. Click on OK, click record, and start playing some audio. There you go, that's it. So as long as you're matching zero dB peaks on your mixer's meters, you'll be hitting minus five recording within Audacity. If you need to boost that later, it's not a problem to do so. If you have any other questions, hit us up on the forums. I'm Pulse with Pioneer.